Hello hey guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to hide formulas in Nazare and show values. In today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how to use combo boxes in Nazare. Combo boxes in Nazare is not used for VPA code but also for Excel spreadsheet. It is available under the insert option of the developer menu tab okay these boxes are drop down kind of element that allow the users to select any value from the value listed in the combo boxes drop down list to select combo box okay option from the ins drop down and drop it anywhere in the sheet and to have the values in the list click just right click and select form controls okay and select the input range and, and also the cell link okay let's dive into how to uh, what the combo box entails there are two options for creating a combo box in Excel. okay the first one is the the first one is the form control combo box it comes inbuilt with Excel in this type of combo box user cannot make any changes to properties okay and the the second one is the active s control combo box it is more versatile than form control box okay in this type of combo uh, control box a user can make changes to properties okay in order to distinguish between the two combo boxes let's also look at the following ways to create combo ball using the two method okay okay the first one is that how to create the combo box in Excel. okay let's talk about how to create the combo box in Excel. okay now in this in this case in the case where the developer tab and uh, developer tab is visible beside the viewing tab in the Excel ribbon okay then click on the developer tab then you click on the insert option right here and select what well, the combo box you can see the high point here showing the combo box form okay or you can or you, you can choose the active s combo box option okay in the case uh, the developer part the developer tab is not visible beside the view tab right here okay now the, what you need to do is that click on the file option you can see it right at the left hand side just click on the file option here then navigate down to the option menu right here now a dialog box will display at as shown below click on the customize ribbon okay so once you do that under the customize and the ribbon drop the uh, drop down box select the main tab okay main, the main tab value right here okay but it is though it is selected by default on the right on the right pane in the main menu tab panel okay you can now select the developer or you check the developer tab option right here and click on what okay but in my own case i have already done that so i don't need to check it again so it has, it has already been checked and click on work okay you should now find what the developer tab in your excel ribbon right okay now let's create a simple list all right of the of value in the worksheet to start with irrespective of the type of combo box okay in my own case i have created this simple table to perform the combo box in excel the first one i am going to talk about is the form control combo box okay now here there are there here are the steps to create the the form control combo box in excel the first one is the, the first step is that you go to the develop, developer tab right up here you can see in this and click on what insert 
option so once you have done that and click on what the combo box here so once you have done that under the which, which is under the form control now click on the excel sheet at any location where you want to place the combo box in my own case i will select the cell c4 okay i'm going to place it here okay i'm going to place that place you may select the combo box okay and drag any of the small square okay around here you can see you can drag any of the small square in the in the middle of the world boundary or circle in the corner to change the combo box size okay now the next thing is that you right click on the new combo box okay and select the word form control okay a dialog box will now appear and you select the control which has already been selected here just make sure that this this control is being check now click on the button on the button to the right of the input range okay there is the input just click on this button now select the cell range for the values in the list which is auto which is auto populate the input box okay okay and click on the word okay and click on the word okay okay button right here okay okay once you have done, done that hmm? note the drop down line has as the eight eight and uh, as eight by default can be it can be configured to show let me show you here it can be configured to show a number of items on the combo box okay now here it shows the number of eight of items that in the drop down list so let me show it here if i click on this drop down list it will show the eight the number of eight by one two three four five six seven eight so it can be configured to show more than that now let's go to the cell link again click right click on it and right click on the combo box new for com combo box uh, created now click on the form control now let's go to the cell link on the new combo box and select the form control once you do that then the form control dialog box will open then click on the cell link box which i have done that here then select the range of the cell again okay just select the range of the cell again once you have done that now enter the cell number to display the position of a selected value in the list in my own case i want the cell numbers okay to display in the cell d4 so so i will select the cell d4 right here okay now this will show the position of the wall the month in the list so now i'm going to now now here you'll be able to click on the drop down list and and, and drop down half of the new combo box to see the list so let me click on that okay so once i've done that so if i select the january on the list you can see it showed me that the january is in in the number one mode if i click on the word uh, march which is what in the number three on the wall on the list if i click on what august so august which is on the number eight on the list so let me just name it here let me just name it as what month okay let me just name it as month here okay then let me do this let me name this as number in month okay good so i can give it a good background okay Okay, this one is okay good so here is the number in months okay let me just give it okay that again here so i can put it okay good so it should be okay fine so now now you can see that so any, if i'm selecting if i select any number here to so the, num the number of months will be shown in this 
so here yeah. now let me now let us now delve into how to delete this part this particular combo box maybe probably you want to delete it so let me show you how to go that do that okay now the first step is that go to the developer tab okay you can see the developer tab right up here now navigate to the design mode you can see the design mode right here okay just click on select the design mode name now the next thing is that select the form control control uh, box here or you can select the, the new combo, combo box here just select it just make it selected okay just make it selected and what press delete in your on your keyboard so you can see it has been deleted okay you can see delete so which is how to do it. you can you can also bring it back bring it back by follow the same procedure okay by just click on the word combo balls hmm? okay you can see so you can right click go to the form control okay click on this here select all the cell there then click on what okay button all the months we shown here then here so you can right click on here again select the form control then i like click on the cell link i like it again and select what the 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 number where the, the cell where you want the number to show so as you can see so the number will be displayed so that is it so so now point to remember is that it helps users to choose a value from the range of items also in the form control uh, control combo ball the user cannot make changes in the properties okay now in my next video tutorial i'm going to show you how to use the active x control box okay thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel as i'll keep giving you more of the reserve function bye and stay blessed